The 1988 presidential campaign of Michael Dukakis began when he announced his candidacy for the Democratic Party's 1988 presidential nomination on March 16, 1987, in a speech in Boston. After winning the nomination, he was formally crowned the Democratic Party's nominee at the party's convention in Atlanta, Georgia on July 21, 1988. He lost the 1988 election to his Republican opponent George H. W. Bush, who was the sitting vice president at the time. Dukakis won 10 states and the District of Columbia, receiving a total of 112 electoral votes compared to Bush's 426. Dukakis received 46% of the popular vote to Bush's 54%. Many commentators blamed Dukakis' loss on the embarrassing photograph of him in a tank taken on September 13, 1988, which subsequently formed the basis of a successful Republican attack ad. Much of the blame was also laid on Dukakis' campaign, which was criticized for being poorly managed despite being well funded. Background Michael Dukakis was the 65th and 67th Governor of Massachusetts, from 1975 to 1979 and 1983 to 1991. His running mate, Lloyd Benson, was a senator from Texas and a member of the United States Senate Committee on Finance who had previously ran for the Democratic nomination in 1976. Initial announcement On March 16, 1987, Dukakis, then the governor of Massachusetts, gave what has become known as the «Marathon Speech» in Boston in which he hinted that he was running for president in next year's election. He formally announced that he would run in a speech given the following month. Previously, he had been urged to consider running for president by Mario Cuomo, who had dropped out the previous month. This made him the third declared Democratic candidate for the 1988 election, after Richard A. Gephardt and Bruce Babbitt. Dukakis soon received an outpouring of support from voters throughout the country, which reportedly resulted in him receiving more attention than even he had expected. <laughs> <laughs> Democratic primaries By May 1988, Dukakis had become the Democratic Party's front-runner for their nomination in that year's election, thanks to his victories in the New York and Pennsylvania primaries. On June 7, 1988, Dukakis clinched the Democratic Party's nomination by winning all four of the party's last primaries against Jesse Jackson, the only other remaining Democratic candidate at the time. These victories gave Dukakis significantly more delegates than the 2081 required to win the nomination. Massachusetts miracle Dukakis' campaign was focused on his experience as governor of Massachusetts, during which time Massachusetts had emerged from an economic depression and had become a «bastion of prosperity and full employment». He described this as the «Massachusetts miracle», a slogan Bush dismissed as the «Massachusetts mirage». Running mate selection On July 12, 1988, Dukakis announced he had chosen Texas Senator Lloyd Benson as his running mate, in the hopes of garnering more support in the South. Dukakis compared his pick to John F. Kennedy's pick of Lyndon B. Johnson as his running mate in the 1960 election. As a result, his ticket became known as the Boston Austin Axis, as Benson himself described it. Shortly after Dukakis made the pick, a Time cover story dubbed Dukakis and Benson, the odd couple, and Richard Stengel noted in 1988 that Benson was less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 more Bush's twin than Dukakis. Topic: <laughs> Acceptance of the nomination. After winning the primaries in 30 states against Jesse Jackson and Al Gore, Dukakis accepted the Democratic Party's nomination at the 1988 Democratic National Convention on July 21, 1988, where Governor of Arkansas Bill Clinton formally nominated Dukakis. Topic: 
Topic: Television advertising. During the campaign, Dukakis was the target of several now infamous attack ads by individuals supporting the Bush campaign, most infamously the Willie Horton ad produced by the pro Bush National Security Political Action Committee. Although the Bush campaign disavowed the ad, it still played a major role in Dukakis' defeat. The Dukakis campaign was mired in confusion during the general election, as exemplified by the handlers a series of unintentionally confusing commercials that the campaign produced and aired at a cost of $3 million. Dukakis also aired in not responding to the Horton attack until late in the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Brazil resignation On October 20, 1988, Donna Brazil resigned from her role as deputy field director for the Dukakis campaign after saying that Bush needed to «fess up» about a rumor that he had had an extramarital affair. Her comments were also disavowed by the campaign, and Dukakis personally apologized to Bush for them at the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation dinner that year. Polling. A poll conducted on July 21 and 22 of 1988 found that Dukakis had expanded the size of his lead over Bush to 17 points, with 55% of voters surveyed saying they would prefer Dukakis to win, compared to 38% for Bush. His lead soon began to shrink, however. For example, on July 30, Dukakis criticized the Reagan administration's handling of ethical issues, to which President Reagan himself responded by describing Dukakis as an invalid after which his poll numbers dropped by five points overnight. By August 11, Dukakis' lead over Bush had shrunk to seven points, and by August 24, Bush had gained a four-point lead over Dukakis. Of the dramatic shift in Dukakis' poll numbers, Mervyn Field said, I have never seen anything like this, this kind of swing in favorability ratings, ever since I have seen polls, going back to 1936. Later that year, after the second Bush Dukakis debate occurred on October 13, Dukakis numbers dropped by seven points that night, largely due to his emotionless response to a question about whether he would support the death penalty for someone if they raped and murdered his wife, Kitty Dukakis. <laughs> <laughs> 